Today was my day to clean my hummingbird feeder. I know many of you probably have one that looked very much like this. It's important, of course, to keep the mold and mildew away from the birds. It can be very harmful for them. So I usually go ahead and I take apart these little pieces that you see right here. They come off. And when they come off, they just kind of slide off. And when they come off, they expose this little tube where the water and the feed comes through. Anyway, usually they have plenty of mildew in here. You should really be changing your feeders at least every three days, uh, if not less, and um, try to get rid of the mildew. Well, today I thought about it, and I thought, oh, gee, I never really looked inside of these little tubes that attach to the flowers. So what I did was I went and I got a, um, a Q-tip, and I went down with the Q-tip into the little hole, just like this, and I was shocked at what came out. The mold on this Q-tip was unbelievable. Uh, it made me really sad to think that many of us think we're doing a good job by just taking it apart briefly, but you really have to dig in. So um, what I suggest is if you are working on your bird feeder, your hummingbird feeder, make sure you get really in there and see, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, I just did this and it came out right now. It is amazing and sad to think that this can accumulate so quickly within just a few days. Of course, the weather hasn't been very hot recently, but it's about to turn so. So make sure when you're thinking about these beautiful birds that you think about cleaning these hummingbird feeders out and getting rid of the mold and the mildew.